The Sandy Hook community reeling from a tragedy today. The father of one of the young victims of the massacre has died of an apparent suicide. The body of Jeremy Richmond was found this morning at the town hall in Newtown. His death coming after two suicides by Parkland massacre survivors. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Torres live in Newtown with the latest details. Joe. David, no town, no city, no community should have to endure the kind of pain, grief, and sorrow endured by the good people of Newtown, Connecticut, who today had the wounds of the Sandy Hook massacre of six years ago torn open once again. Seven o'clock this morning, police found the body of Jeremy Richmond inside his office at the Edmond Town Hall. The 49-year-old was the father of Aviel Richmond, one of the 20 elementary school students killed in the Sandy Hook shooting shootings on that dreadful day in December of 2012. He was found inside the office of the Aviel Foundation, the foundation established in honor of his six-year-old daughter, a foundation with a mission of preventing violence and building compassion. Police would not say how Mr. Richmond took his own life, but the chief called him a pillar of the community, and the chief worries now about how others might react to Mr. Richmond's death. Mental health professionals have talked about this to us, in particular in Newtown, that some of the things that we we're going to see were going to start occurring a number of years after the event. Um, so, you know, my main concern is we, we hope this is not an ongoing um, issue and just want to reach out and to tell everybody there are resources available. Late this afternoon, the Aviel Foundation issued a statement of its own, saying in part, tragically, Mr. Richmond's death speaks to how insidious and formidable a challenge brain health can be and how critical it is for all of us to seek help for ourselves, our loved ones, and anyone who we suspect may be in need. It was a town worker this morning who found the body of Mr. Richmond and called police. Investigators believe his death could have occurred any time between after midnight and 7 o'clock this morning. Town Hall has been closed ever since. We'll leave you with the final words, these words that we heard from a woman here today. She approached reporters heartbroken and crying, and she vocalized what are the fears of so many people here in this community when she said, if it can happen to him, it can happen to anyone.